You are now listening to the Inner Circle podcast now. So I had a fucking, I had a fucking cancel on Cobra on Friday. Cause I double booked. And we've been recording. Oh, we're recording. Okay. Oh yeah. Let me fix my mic. Yeah. So like they fucking hit me up to do Valentine's Day. Check, check, check. And um, I just had to tell them, hey, bro, I fucking. I already got something on the fucking, on the docket. Oh, where did you have? Oh, I have yeah. Playground. You have Playground? Yeah. And then the homie subscribes to that shit that you said you wanted a fucking, um, the extension to the fucking uh, Adobe suite that you said you wanted to get. Right. He uses that to make fucking videos and all that shit. Um, That's hot. With the, with the hearts and shit? <laughs> yeah, bro. It's like, really dope. I thought it was cool. I mean, it's super basic. Like, I'm That's pretty all you sh- need, though. But what I'm saying is I'm pretty sure that for me, that don't have no editing, animation type of background, I could probably jump in and make something equivalent pretty pretty easily. You know what well, I'm there's, saying? Well, there's a, there's a big secret to that shit right there. And there's a place, and it's called... I'll, I'm going to fucking... Oh, you're putting everybody on black. That whole shit right there. Anyways, um, at Scalabiros, you can get... Moving backgrounds like that. Okay. So I feel like whoever's making the ones for Cobra, that's what he's using. He, you can go there and you can type up triangles and they'll be the... They're flying and shit. And then, you know, hearts. And then you can get... To, like, there's people that make those by the masses. Right, right, right. And at a place like Alamirovsk, which is not cheap, but I'm trying to get me like a... I'm, I'm trying to get me like a dedicated client that will pay for that part of it every month. And I am going to get that because there's a lot of cool shit you can get there, bro. Like, background. Oh, I believe it. Like, this, that. You know what I'm saying? But My thing is, like, so I got back to the Cobra aspect. It's like, it sucks because, like, I feel like they've shown me more love than anybody on Congress, like, from the jump. You know, because True. it started off uh, um, just like a, a guest spot with Rip D. And then from there, it went to, like, being booked by myself. Now, they're in their second year of business. I've done, I've done two New Year's parties. I've done uh, one year anniversary parties, and like I've gone up to Phoenix with them, like like for them, for their sister bars. Um, so it's just like I felt really bad about having to decline on the the night, but it's like at this point, and I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but I'm your boy's in demand. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like straight up and down, bro. Like your boys in That's demand. That's good. That's good. And 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 it's basically first come first serve. That's how I fucking do my business. You know, it's not even about the money because I get paid more money at Cobra than I do at Playground. Okay. If you want to keep it funky. But it's just a simple fact. It's like, yo, you book me for this date, I'm gonna be there. And if I can swing a second fucking gig that same day, I'm gonna do it. But I'm not gonna let it interfere with what was booked first. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of the fucking dilemma and I mean and then of all things they fucking do a Selena tribute night. Mm. So it's like that was my fucking night every yeah. time, you know, and mm. I brought in a certain type of clientele that night. But I'm not jealous or upset or anything. It's just like I feel bad that I can't be there for the homies, you know? Right. But it's just been fucking crazy lately, bro. Like that's the reason I didn't go with you to fucking Jersey is because I've been fucking working, you know? That's not good. Yeah, it did suck. It's, it's a second fucking uh, networking fucking the, our network that I didn't go to the fucking record of the group episode, you know. So I'm already I'm gonna say it on wax. Next fucking trip, I'm there no matter what. I'm gonna well, cancel. That, well, see, Chris lives in Tampa. That's where the Super Bowl is next year. But it, that's not the next meetup, is it? It might be. Okay. It might be, or I mean, I've been pushing Vegas to them like a motherfucker. But that's going to be the type of thing where everybody's going to be bringing wives and stuff like that. And that's probably going to be a little bit more down the road. Yeah. But, yeah, they're, they're, they're talking about doing Tampa next year. I'd that be, wouldn't be a bad uh, be trip. Um, I've only been to Florida when I went to on, a, on a cruise to the Bahamas. I think we landed in Orlando or something. That's where we fucking... Probably Miami, but... Whatever. Or, no, or, I didn't go to Miami. Or Orlando, yeah. Cape, Cana- Cape Canaveral. Yeah, um... That, that's where we fucking uh, shipped out of, and, and we went to the Bahamas, and it was pretty tight. But it's kind of shitty. The fucking Miami or Florida gets two Super Bowls in a row. It was in Miami this year, and then fucking next year it's in Tampa. That's bullshit, right? But fucking Florida.
Order up. Order up. This is a certified hood classic. You, you, you are now tuned into the Hood Diner Podcast with your host, DJ Sentry and the homie Casual. I just want to know how, how wide its mouth opens. <laughs> <laughs> Helicopter, you don't. You, if you know, you know the helicopter. Century. And I am the homie casual. And you're listening to the Hood Diner Podcast, episode 78. Been a little while, but we're back and better than ever. Back, bitch. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back from Joy Z. And uh, yeah, man, we're ready to, to get this shit cracking. Uh, yeah, man. Had a fucking had a fucking blast, bro. Had a blast. It was great to finally meet, you know, the East Coast cats. I've met Riley at the, you know, the West Coast meetup with his brother and them in Failing Hollywood, but this time I got to hang out with Sam PC, you know, Joe B picked me up from the airport, shout out to Joe B, man, that dude drove us all over the place, even though his GPS skills are fucking highly in question. Uh, <laughs> What happens when you're fucking on an Android and you have green bubbles? No, he does have an iPhone, oh, but okay. I, I feel like he had something switched on. Like, I told him, like, why does your thing... It feels like you have, like, av- avoid tolls or, or, like, right turn only turned on or some shit like that because there was one point, oh, I bro. I forgot that they got turnpikes and they got fucking... Bro, and all that he shit. was mashing through these motherfuckers. And I, 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 I'm serious, Joe B. I want to see the bill. That you get because he told me he had like one of those things right where you can preload it and I think like the first two things that we went through he had it right there and I saw the thing turn green and he went through but then after a while he just threw it into the glove box and he'd mash through him and then it would say call this number or some shit like that right and I was like bro like are you gonna get fined are you gonna get you know tickets and shit and he's like ah it's all good bro I'll take care of it when I get back and shit I'm like well how much is it each time and like I, exact change on some of them shits were like uh, 75 cents or whatever the fuck it was but like I'm off, motherfucking mashed through like at least 30 or 40 the whole time we were so there so it adds up it adds up that's what I'm saying I'm like damn bro like let you me got know it like that let me know but then there was there was this one time like we 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 were heading back to go pick up Chris cuz we we went okay he picked me up, right? He got there butt ass early, dog. Like I had to take a red eye, and I flew on Frontier. What time did you land in uh, six, Jersey? Six. Well, check this out. It was supposed to be from eleven to six thirty, right? The plane got there at six oh five, and everybody was like, "Oh yeah, we're landing early. Wow, we, we we made great time." When we get to the tarmac, they're like, "Yeah, there's an emergency, a medical emergency going on in the plane." That's parked in our spot. So we have to wait until they handle their business and move. So poor Joe B. I don't even know. He got there like butt ass early, I guess. But he had, he had like, we were like, oh yeah, we're here at 605. We didn't get off the plane till seven. So we were sitting there basically waiting with our thumbs up. So he was just cooling right there for an hour. I'm like, hey bro, I'm still here, dog. Like what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. And yeah, so he picked me up. We mashed to uh, Adam's house and I was like a good hour, probably hour 15 away. Probably not supposed to be that long, but I think Joe got lost a couple times. There was one time where, like, I saw this hotel on the left side, and then we drove a little bit, and then I saw that same hotel on the, on the right left. side. No, it, it was back on the left side again. I'm like, Joe, what the fuck are you doing, dog? And Does I, he live in a different part of Jersey? Joe lives in New Hampshire. Joe oh, so lives that's in a little New distance. Hampshire. They took Joe. He said he left his house about, I think, 1 a.m., and he got there like I think he said four thirty five o'clock. So he, he hauled ass, and and you know he got the, up and he was driving before because I guess going through Connecticut and then whenever you get to New York like it's just mad fucking traffic. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, don't, I don't really know that fucking part of the country that well, but New Hampshire's way the fuck up there. Like I think like the last what the last state on top is Maine, yeah, and then New Hampshire's like right below it, I believe, yeah. something like that. So like three of those fuckers live out there, party naked. Uh, uh, Jason Almy, he lives there, and then the Plunge, all those homies, they live out there, 
and then so does Joe B. So, you know, like I said, shout out to Joe B. He swooped me up. We went to Adam's house. We met. I met Bobby Light, which is uh, Adam's younger brother and shit, and he's just a cool ass motherfucker, bro. He made edibles. Like, he fucking, he smokes like a chimney, bro. It was fucking awesome, right? I heard you overheard you say something that uh, on the video that like you couldn't smoke at the house. He said, yeah, well, up at, yeah, his neighbors, this house is like big and it's like four or five different people. And I guess on top is where the fucking landlord lives. So okay. They don't want people smoking in the house. But well, in Bob, the house, Bob, uh, Adam told us to walk down the little bit like that. I was just following Bobby lights because I'm like, you live here, bro. We were smoking on the porch and shit. We were just toking it up right there. Right. I got there, but ass. we got there probably like about 8 a.m. Already high, huh? David A. So me and Joe B., had to drop our lyrics for the Circle Stay Small uh, song. So, bro, like... Oh, you, you guys know, made a track? We made a track, bro. And then we recorded the music video the day after. Right there on the porch and shit like that, dude. It was fucking, it was fucking awesome, dog. It was, it was great. And then I got my fucking drone yeah, yeah. just before I left. So I took that with me. Scared as fuck flying it around, but it was cool. Flew it around right there a little bit. And uh, went to Mount Lemon the other day, did another little video. It was pretty dope. But, uh, yeah, dude, we dropped a track. We went and saw where Adam worked, which was some crazy-ass fucking FBI building, but it was dope. But I was telling you about, like, the Bell. It's called the Bell Tower. No, Bell Tower. <sighs> I don't know. I looked it up the other day. It's Bell something. And anyways, uh, yeah, I had some of the best pizza I ever had in my life. Got to meet Adam Simmons finally. Great fucking dude. Appreciate him. His hospitality he was fucking awesome. Um, from there we went, we picked up Chris back at Newark, picked up Chris Wetzky from the hashtag no offense show and shit. That was cool. Fucking hanging out with him too. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, we went back and fucking goddamn, I'm trying to think of what else we did, man. It's all blur right now, but I was always working, man. I was like, just, I, I was taking mad video. I took the little fucking DJ Osmo with me and yeah. Got a lot of cool footage, a lot of cool pictures and shit. Got to meet Bobby Moore. Bobby Moore came. He was watching us do do the performance or uh, the recording and shit like that. And that was cool shit, man. And then Joe B brought some venison meat with him. Oh, from, and deer and shit? Yeah, some ve- ground venison. And Bobby Light made a fucking chili with it. Oh, mm, it was, yummy. It was so fucking good. Like him and his brother are both fucking chefs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they get down. They get down like a motherfucker. And, um, you chiefing on that or what? My bad. And uh, yeah, man, it was just a fucking. It was madness. Like we tried to record podcasts and shit, and they just sounded crazy. We recorded a couple of them on my la- my laptop, but I didn't have one of those, like the Scarlet thing. The Joe interface. B brought one, but <laughs> we had different mics. We had like some that were like this, some that were like that, and it just sounded fucking crazy. You can go listen to them; and they're fucking hilarious, man. We have like the opening ceremonies. The what is it called? The the one year anniversary of the inner circle, and then is that, hashtag, is that been how long we've since we've year, defected? bro? Since the mutiny, dog, that's exactly what that was. It was a celebration of the mutiny and also a celebration of Sam PC's 200th episode. And then they also performed at the super duper bowl, which was cool. Um, it was pretty dope, man. You it say was, performed, but what do they do? They did like like a little podcast uh, up on stage before okay. the, the Super Bowl started and shit. Um, from what I gathered, they kind of got uh, fucked on time a little bit. Yeah. I could tell Damn. Adam was a little pissed about that, but like, I guess last year they got to perform like while the game was on and they got to do like 45 minutes and shit. These peaks look low, huh? No, they're good. Oh, okay, cool. And... Um, so they got to, you know, they they I guess they got to perform more last year and they got a late start this year. I guess there wasn't as many people and they kind of got cut off. So it was kind of a little bit of I, I could disappointment. Tell, I could tell he was a little hurt about it and shit, but they still did their thing, man. And I was there taking pictures, taking video and shit. It's cool. I'm I'm doing like a um like a like a pretty much like a vlog from the time I left to the time I got back. So that's going to be really cool. That's just going to be long. It's probably I might have to break that up by the days. But it was cool. After the episode, I'm going to have to fucking get with you on my Amazon so you can show me what um, like gimbal to get for the iPhone. <coughs> oh, yeah. So, I mean, depending on what you want to get, they have the, the Osmo makes that one that's like powered. Whatever, dog. Whatever. You just give me <laughs> it's the right like 119 direction. bucks. Get it. God damn, that much? It's not bad, though, dog. This thing can do a lot of shit. Motherfucker holds the thing straight. What is a lot of shit? Well, for one, it's going to keep your shit like nice and balanced. 
Like, because it is a gimbal. It's not like this. This is just a tripod. Right, right. I'm looking for something to keep it balanced. Okay, well, you get that gimbal. I think within the, the DJI uh, app that comes with it, you know that shit that I have where on the little camera where it follows your face? Yeah. Goes like that. Fucking uh, Chris kept calling it the fucking Ghostbuster because he said it looked like something Egon was doing and shit. Like an ecto fucking. There you go. It was the ecto motherfucker. And, and uh, that shit, how it follows your face, if I'm not mistaken, in the app, with that that gimbal, it'll do the same thing. Okay. So like if you set it up at the edge of the table and you're DJing and shit and you kind of swing to the right and shit like that, it's going to follow you and shit like that. You know what I mean? Which was cool. I put up a little thing on the Twitter the other day where I was like doing it on the plane. On the oh, Twitter. Like that. And that's, a, uh, you know what? Look at Traveler's tip. Traveler's tip like a motherfucker. I don't know if any of you guys have flown Frontier I think it's kind. Of, I think it's kind of like spirit. I heard that's like the worst fucking. No, I heard transfer. spirits the worst. Yeah, I heard spirits the worst, and frontiers right above it. Okay. Okay. Now, I, my ticket, and and right now, huge shout out to my cousin Isus. My cousin Isus bought me my ticket. Yeah. Okay. Damn, that's what's up. He bought me my ticket, but he got my ticket for a, a straight flight there and back. No fuck. Because remember, that's what I was telling you when I was gonna get my ticket through any other one. There was this huge ass fucking uh, what do you call them delay. The the what do they call it? Where you Layovers. Mean? Layover. There you go. There was like a five six hour layover on every single one, and every single flight flew from either here or Phoenix to Seattle, and then from Seattle all the way to Newark, which I thought was just it, it really had me not wanting to fucking go because that was just ridiculous. You right? know, it's because they have more fucking flights going out of that area to Newark. I get that. Like I get that. The but most common, that's the most common. So that's how they fucking give you discounted tickets. You're basically filling a fucking plane. Well, bro, that's gonna go somewhere that they have more flights to that go to the, your destination. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Even though, dude, even though, like, still, my cousin hits me up and he's like, "Hey, check this out. The ticket to go from fucking Phoenix straight there is a hundred and fucking twenty four dollars. Damn, round trip, round round trip, no fucking stops, straight. So shot. you get one free carry on." You get you get a backpack, bro. That's where they fucking get you. Okay, now if you're somebody who can pack light like that, dude, that's a fucking gonga, bro. Because I'm not even gonna lie to you. Okay, this is the other part. They offer you they offer you shit. Okay, that's how they get you. But I went all out because I was like, my cousin took care of the ticket. I'm gonna fucking fly the way I want to fucking fly. So I got their little like their little uh, whatever the perks pack. Right, lets you bring on a carry on. Like besides your backpack, like a carry-on luggage, a check-in luggage, and you get to pick your seat. And when you get to pick your seat, you get to pick from the ones in the front that got more leg room and shit. And I'm gonna tell you right now, as a fat dude, I will always I, I wanna get the bigger seats from now on because when I fly and I have like the regular seats, and you know how fucking close they are, like any if the third person over here wants to go to the bathroom, everybody's gotta stand up. You oh, for, you gotta get out of the aisle. You gotta you get out of the aisle. aisle. Yeah. Well, the ones that have the extra seat, you kind of don't. There's Forward. enough seat there. And now my fat ass trying to put my backpack underneath in front of me, it, it, it's a fucking challenge. But with that extra room, bro, it was nothing, dog. I was like, put my bag under there, pick it up, get it out when I fucking needed it, bro. Like, it was it was nothing. That shit was 140 bucks. It was more than the ticket itself. You paid for it? I bought it. I was like, fuck it, dude. You Both know what ways? I'm Both ways. Well, okay, yeah, that's where they get you because it's like everything is charged double. Right. Both ways and shit like that. But that 140 covers everything. Everything. Dog, Technically, I would have fucking folded myself in half and just ride that bitch. Bro, to tell you the truth, since I had the option to bring a fucking check-in bag, I should have. I should have took way more gear. I should have took some of my other lights. I should have took a big ass bag that had fucking all kinds of different shit. I should have, I didn't even take my stickers. I should have took fucking official shirts for all them homies and shit like that, dog. Like, I was trying to keep it as minimal as possible, but I still had that other fucking check-in fucking bag, right? I could have done that. But anyways, had my bag with me, one bag, probably the lightest I've ever packed and shit. Cause I my usually, thing is that I can't take my laptop. That. Well, that was in my backpack. Bro, my backpack weighed like fucking probably 70 pounds. <sighs> Something like that. Because it had everything. It had my Sony. It had the fucking drone. It had my laptop. It had the iPad. It had my fucking SDs. It had all the extra batteries. The fucking tripod. The, the Joby. The jo the Joby tripod. It had fuck. Oh, and a bottle. A water bottle on the side of it and shit like that, dog. That shit was heavy as fuck. But like I said, shout out to the fucking leg room. I was able to throw that motherfucker underneath. You know what I mean? So that was cool. But yeah, man. 
the frontier shit, if you can, you know, pack light, it's cool. But if not, that's what they charge you. They charge you for every fucking thing. Those seats. Okay, check this out. This is how I could, this is where I, I justified the 140, dog. This is how I justified it. To pick your seat, the big room, the one with room, was 60 bucks each way. I'm already 120 deep right there, right? And my extra fucking carry-on bag was going to be $35. That's another 70 bucks right there, right? I'm already $190 deep. So I, w- I just said, fuck it. I get the 140 and I get to pick the seat. I sat, you know where I sat? Both ways. I sat like the third row in. I fucking loved it. It was right right up front. That bathroom was right fucking there. When it was time to get the fuck off the plane, I was out that bitch, bro. I fucking loved it. So, yeah, man, I had a good time flying that shit. But Frontier, that's where they get you the spirit. But if you're flying somewhere and all you need to take is a backpack, bro, $124 for a round trip ticket. That is a fucking, that. that is a fucking deal, man. So, yeah, man, fuck with Frontier if you're trying to pack light and shit. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't I don't that, mind Southwest, bro. I don't mind Southwest either. But sometimes it's like that same trip would run like fucking seven hundred dollars or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah see what yeah. You know I'm saying. Like we're for, keeping for, our eye on the fucking shit for Orlando. Well, you got it super like no, close no, to your the date Orlando. you're leaving, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna. It's not until <laughs> December, but the, the tickets are already out. They're like four hundred bucks round trip. Yo, they're not that bad. You gonna go with the coronavirus on a ship or what? Dude, everybody's on. We're, everybody's on watch for that shit. We're gonna you know have to take a fucking eleven day break. Cause uh, when you get back, cause uh, yeah, let's 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 get right into that. That's the fucking news right there. Um, fucking coronavirus, bro. Like, what I the thought fuck? I caught it a couple weeks ago, bro. I got super sick after a party. Is that Remember? okay? That's when you you no call no showed me, yeah, right? Yeah. I was like, I was looking at heaven's door. I was knocking on heaven's door. You know what I'm saying? Like it was right there, bro. Mm. I was on like fucking antibiotics and steroids for my asthma and shit. Because you have asthma and you said that somebody just like just cut the grass. Yeah, and there was a trash can right next to me and like my fucking throat was like all swollen. Pause. <laughs> and um, yeah, man, like I'm barely feeling good enough to go to the gym. It's been like three weeks. Okay. You know, so I didn't even drink on Super Bowl. No? No, yeah, I, mean, I was either. taking antibiotics. I, mean, I was just lit. I fucking... I didn't even smoke, I don't think, that day either, bro. It was like a super smoke, sober man. Sunday. But I'm not going to lie to you, bro. During that sober period, I fucking had a lot of mental clarity, bro. Yeah? Yeah, man. Like, the wolf's trying to, hungry trying again. To quit, trying to quit smoking or what? No, no, but I'm just saying, like, taking a break for two weeks was just like a nice little reset button. Okay. I don't, I mean, I enjoy marijuana for sure, but... Like, when I took a break, bro, like, I had so many ideas now. Like, I have a fucking Afrobeat set now. Okay. I have, like, a good 12, 13 track Afrobeat set. That's, like, an hour. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Did you say you were going to do one of those? I want to do a soon? night, bro. I really do. I've seen a couple of those posted up. Yeah, but it's all east side. There's nothing downtown. Oh, okay. Like, with the pool I got right now, I can approach a spot and be like, yeah, let me uh, let me offer this. Let's do it. See what, I, see what it brings in. And reggaeton. <clears throat> and dance hall. Yeah, and man. then maybe some dembo. Some corona, 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 ow, ow. <laughs> Hit it. Corona, coronavirus. Oh, fuck, <laughs> dude. Okay, yeah, we're going to we're gonna get to that. I think that's the only thing I have for music. But um, it's been a minute since we have talked, bro. We did, we. Well, the Grammys during, went down. A bunch of shit time, went down. Col- you know, Kobe. Kobe passed. Kobe passed. You know what I'm saying? Um, you see Games Tattoo? And man, you know, you see, you can see Chris Brown tattoo, the Jordan on the face. Yes, I mean, ugh. <laughs> 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 all right. I mean, these fools are just so fucking drugged up that they just put anything. Like, you know who Karen <laughs> Fo- Frost is? Who? Kerwin Ker- Frost. No, this fool has a fucking pencil that goes straight down on his face. A pencil? A pencil? Like yellow? Like a yellow pencil? Is it yellow? No, I think it's just a the silhouette. Shade of it's yellow? A sh- yeah, it, no, shade it's just, of pencil. It's just a, it's a, like an outline of a pencil like that, like a Post Malone type. And it's just so random. like, But like That's Post weird. Malone, bro, that fool got like crazy ass shit on his face. I mean, dude, you know, it's your face. Do what you want with it. but I So mean, you probably think that you are better now. Yeah. <laughs> with the fucking face tats and shit. Bro. Bro, but, um, but real shit, man. Fucking. We you see to- Amber Rose's tattoo? <laughs> oh, come on, dog. Like, what the fuck are these people doing? 
What does it understand. say? Slash and bash on her forehead. Uh, it's something, some sort of tribute to her son. I didn't like. That's it. right. I saw there, it, and I was just bro. like, I saw it forever. It, uh, for two seconds, I looked at it, and then I just kept scrolling because I was like, I'm not surprised. You know what I mean? I'm just like not forever, surprised. though, bro. Like that's there forever. Um. Did you, <laughs> Jeez, you, we, we were we were talking about the fucking coronavirus. Did you hear that there is a case of it at ASU? Yeah, I heard. I don't know if it's confirmed or whatever, but I haven't gone up to Phoenix in a while, so I'm good. Okay, yeah. Don't. <laughs> I got family up there. Y'all stay up there. We we ain't trying to hack, get that shit right now. Um, <coughs> yeah, man. Uh, I saw a couple crazy things. Uh, I, did you see the whole thing with that uh, that cartoon called Chamberlain Heights? No. Where it's a cartoon. I don't remember what channel it's on, but it had... Uh, like you know how everybody brings up the Simpsons, all this shit. The Simpsons predicted this shit. Yeah. Like there was a thing on that particular cartoon where uh, it predicted a Kobe helicopter crash. What? Yeah, it was kind of a trip. I, I have the fucking the picture saved and shit. I'll have to show it to you. But I was tripping out about that. But yeah, man, you know what? That whole shit was that whole shit fucked me up. Uh, I saw the shit that that UConn did with the tribute to uh, his daughter. They they made her like a jersey. And put it on uh, the sidelines and shit for them. And yeah, man, there was some fucked up shit. It, it, that whole situation. I had the list of all the names and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? People get all pissed when you're like, oh, it was just fucking, you know, you forget about them. Blah, the blah, blah. Is, is you like, can't complain about a goddamn thing at all. <laughs> no, no. My whole thing is this, bro. It's not like. <laughs> Motherfuckers just love. Kobe. <laughs> they love to talk shit. Kobe wasn't, uh, what's it called? A normal person. Okay. Like, when Arnold Schwarzenegger dies, that's going to be a big fucking deal. Oh, my God, yeah. Like, it's just, he's the cultural icon, bro. Like, he's yes, he's a fucking athlete. He's the governor. And everybody should be like, no, I'm talking about Kobe now. Oh, but yeah. He's a, he, you know, he's a he's a basketball player, but he's still a person. Like, Bro, seeing dudes, um, seeing grown-ass men on a, on a basketball court breaking down before they had to play, hearing that news and shit, man, just lets you know. The type of character, the type of person that Kobe was, man. And you know what I'm saying? We you lost, know, Gail King brought up him. he was a rapist and all that bro, shit. Bro, yeah. Like motherfuckers, a dude, I saw, I saw, I retweeted the shit that, that 50 put out. Love what he fucking said, man. That shit's on my fucking Twitter. I'll probably put it on the Hood Diner one too. But he, he put, he, he was talking some shit, you know what I'm saying? And I get, you know, the, the, the whole situation with them isn't the whole situation with them is because they, they also have experienced like some form of, uh, of uh, a child abuse, both of them, right? Like Oprah definitely had, I believe, and I'm not sure if Gail did too. So they're like, no, like we don't give a fuck who it is. Like they're they're about it, about it to talk yeah, about. Yeah, but they it, went to saying? court. <coughs> they went to court and got thrown out. I get all that too. That and that's why her bringing shit up just makes no like, fucking it's sense. Like it's like he never had to do time. You for trying it to stay he, fucking? He never got convicted of like raping her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. I mean, dude, at the end of the day, you know who needed to fucking forgive him was his wife. Like and that she was did. it. Well, and this she is did. the thing. That, they didn't even have kids yet, okay, did they? No, they did. Did they have kids? But this is the thing. Okay, are you I'm really going to upgrade from Kobe? Definitely not. But I mean, No, real talk. Are you going to upgrade from Kobe? <laughs> definitely not. No, but, I mean, no. Dude, the no, but, okay, it's no. This it's is the no. thing. This is what I'm asking. Like, like, is there a fuck it? There's never going to be like a time limit on forgiveness. Listen. So, people say forgive and forget, but it, it's not. it's not real because- when somebody has repented or fucking changed their fucking ways and shit, but people will still bring it up. At what point, at what fucking, you know, is there a fucking point to where it's like you just got to like not bring that shit up or let it go by now? You know what I'm saying? Like, like chill the fuck out. People always got to bring up the negative shit. You know what I mean? I get that. But my whole thing, it's like if you look at different characters in history, different persons like Bob Marley. Right. He was a womanizer. His wife, who he had a bunch of children with, knew it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And she's like, it's just a part of fucking life you got to deal with. That's a great man. You know what I'm saying? D- society's different now. True. You know what I'm saying? The only person that's doing it like on that level now is like Future. Future just has kids with everybody. Does he really? Yeah, man. Is that dude has a grip of kids. Good for him. But I don't know, man. Like Kobe passing, it was like a big deal in 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 the time of people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Like he reached different crowds, like across the world. Like China, he's huge. He was huge in China. Yeah, I get you. you think I had no idea he had a Grammy or an Oscar. 
Whichever one you want. For the animated thing or whatever yeah. it is he did. Yeah. yeah. I had no idea. That's fucking awesome as fuck. And, um, but yeah, you know, also, you know, obviously fucking sucks, you know, rest in peace to the, all the other families that passed sure. away. The coaches, the fucking, the little other little girls that were on that fucking play. Dude, like that day sucked. That day sucked. You know, the thing that, that, that killed me the most, the thing that killed me the most was that day everybody was talking about like the, the, the those last couple seconds, like how he was trying to comfort his daughter in their last seconds, like just putting yourself in that fucking scenario, man. Like that part fucked me up. You know what I mean? That one really, that part really, really, really fucked me up. So yeah, man, I don't want to go too, too much more on that, but, uh, yeah, man, rest in peace to Kobe and shit. And, and to everybody that passed away that day, the fucking pilot, you know, everybody, all the people that passed away that day, man. But, um, you know, and then the other part that fucked me up too, when they did the mariachis out in front of the Staples Center. Yeah. The mariachi. Oh, God. I was like, no, motherfucking no. Okay, so moving on in news, dog. Did you write down Super Nintendo World is coming to a Universal theme park? Or was I didn't that write me? That. Okay, that must have been me, I guess. I saw that shit. <laughs> but that, that, that's probably going to be fucking cool. Yeah, right? I want to go to the one in Florida. Yeah, definitely. I want to take the Nina out of there. Fuck yeah. And then, um, let me see. Uh, okay, so that was all I had for news right there. I wonder if I should just include the other news, too. Let me see what I had for news in this other one that got canceled. <laughs> too much. Too much. Too much. We're going to have to save it for the next episode. Moving into uh, music, bro. Yeah, like you said, the fucking Grammys passed. Eminem performed at the, was it the Oscars. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't there, watch man. that shit though. You got down and fucking. I don't killed. fucking. I don't listen to fucking Eminem anymore. And no? if that piss people off, then so be it. I don't give a fuck. You, I'm man. not saying don't listen to him. Handle your business, dog. I fuck just. It. I'm not saying don't listen to him. Yeah, I mean, dude, like do I your said, thing, you know. I liked one fucking song on that. Last That's time. your cup of tea. Then go for it. You know, I just, I just don't enjoy listening to his music anymore. One song, but the old shit's dope. I didn't mean to give you mushrooms, girl. That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> you remember that song? Yeah. Didn't mean to bring you to my world. <laughs> <laughs> That's good shit. Um, and here we go. Are you the key master? Laugh it up, fuzzball. <laughs> we came, we saw, we kicked it down. This baby hits 88 miles per hour. They're going to see some serious shit. Have you, did you write Bad Boys for Life sucked? Yes. Yeah. That movie was you so trash, bro. You thought it sucked? Yes, because Will Smith was the fucking Theo that tried to use all the cool hip slang terms. Right? He's like, what's up, young youth? <laughs> you know, he just that sounded, was... he sounded out of pocket. The you know fact what I'm that he was able to forgive this motherfucker that he found out was his son, spoiler. He, and uh, if you haven't watched it, now, it's your fault. After he had fucking killed his captain and shit and shot him. Yep. Shot him. On fucking oh, live. he did kill live. what's his name, huh? The he captain. killed the captain. Yeah. Fool, the fool died. Yeah. He sniped you him You know off. what I'm saying? Yes, dude. Hardcore through the neck, dog. That fool was a sniper. Damn. He fucking, his son killed all kinds of people and he was able to fucking, no, mijo. <laughs> the hardest driving scene was when he was going to the fucking hospital for the delivery. That was dope. That was dope. I, I, at first, I thought it was like, I was and like, and they got green lit for a fucking fourth. Yeah. See, now they're going to regret not calling it Bad Boys for Life for the fourth one. They should have just called it Bad Boys Three. You know what I'm just, saying? Just four and around. And then four. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for the bad boys. This one's for you guys. This one's for the bad boys. Honestly, I feel like in the fourth one, one of them has to die. <laughs> Like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're both Lawrence dies from fucking diabetes. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? What are they going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do to make it exciting? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, bro, that movie was so boring, bro. Hey, so you know boring, hey, bro. It was story, whack. The story definitely sucked. The they tried to play that shit, narcos. The they tried to play that narco shit, was, shit the too hard. The action shit was good. Was no, that you one know dude, Vanessa Hudgens was that sliding dude, and shooting the motherfucker in the stomach with the machine gun? That was good. That wasn't good, bro. What is his name? Was was it Nicky Jam, the dude that was on yeah, the fucking he got quad? Arrested. Was that him? And they shoot him off they the fucking helicopter. They had a big ass chichon yeah. on his head. <laughs> He's like, I gotta touch it. <laughs> he had to touch that shit. And then he got away after that, right? And then the other dude killed him. That shit yeah, was he good. was like hanging from the fucking, oh, I can't, I can't get up, I can't climb. And right. Like, Done, dude. It's horrible. Um, yeah, okay. So, uh, so don't get in my way or I'll kill you. 
Yeah, and then they brought back the bitch from fucking uh, the she, bitch. She was from uh, <laughs> she was from Weeds. She was Pilar, the one that the little fucking son cracked with the croquet. Yeah, and she fell in the water and died. That's who that chick was. I was like, I know she from from something I've seen and shit. Um, also in movies. We have to give an R.I.P. to fucking Michael Douglas' dad, Kirk Douglas. Was he in Spartacus? He was in Spartacus. He was in a lot of old ass movies and shit. You know what I'm saying? But that was that was uh, Michael Douglas' dad. Died at 103 years old, man. Like fucking Kirk. Michael Douglas got to hang out with his dad till he was 103. Like that's some cool shit. You know what I mean? Like that's fucking. Michael dope. Douglas is the man, bro. He got Catherine Zeta Jones. Yup. <sighs> he did. He did. What was it? Romancing the Stone. I don't even matter what else. You got Catherine. You got Catherine Zeta Jones at the house, bro. Like, man, she all right. That's not light work. I feel like she's old now. And do you and like J Lo? I feel like she's not aging. You like, like J Lo? I feel like she aging a much nasty. Like, first of I feel all, like her and my. I'm gonna tell you this. Both getting that. Plastic I wasn't Botox impressed with shit. her fucking dancing and shit at the Super Bowl. You weren't? No. Why not? I was like, you need to get your old ass down from that goddamn pole before you break a hip. Oh, t- dude, t- poor homegirl, huh? That you bitch, see that at the Super Bowl? Uh, yeah. No, actually, you know, it's crazy. I still haven't seen it. I've only seen like little pieces of the whole thing. Or dancing. We left. We left that one place during halftime. You missed a good show, though. We did, I, but I've seen a lot of. I seen a lot of highlights where it was just the ass moving. That's all I really need. And then Shakira's ass coming with her tongue, blah, 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 doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Looking like a goat. <laughs> it's the stuff my wet dreams are made of. Right. All up in your culo. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say all that, but all up in your culo, bro. Shakira is like, she's she's that 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 pop star that just transcends time. Let's she's another real. vampire. Let's be real. She was only there because she's on Rock Nation, and Jay Z made that happen. Because if you don't remember, it was gonna be <laughs> just J Lo. It was gonna be just J Lo, and then. Jay Z has some, you know, secret NFL meetings and shit, and the next thing you know, Shakira on the motherfucking docket. So, don't tell me there ain't no fucking, there ain't no favoritisms going down. But she still killed it anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because she hasn't done shit since like 2012. Like she has not done shit in a minute. Why the fuck do you get a? No, Super she's Bowl? did some shit. She ain't done shit. She had a nice song with uh, Maluma. What the fuck was it called? I think it was where the- here, or Mesco. No, here. <laughs> Everywhere. Or, or Spain, wherever see, wherever she's from. See, that's the thing, is that her fucking music... Whenever, forever. <laughs> this song is older than dirt and... I'm like, she's fucking moving my fucking hips and shit when she was... Did you see that fucking meme her, of that dude. dude in the fucking skirt? And he's yes. like, yeah! Yes, I've seen yeah. all the good memes. I've seen them all. They were good. There was a lot of good ones during the Super Bowl. Speaking of which, yeah. Chantaje. That shit came out like in 2018. Whoa. But it was a big song, though. It was no big song. It, it was. It was I'm a DJ. It what the was, fuck? It wasn't that big. I can throw that shit on right Play now. It on. Do you, when was the last time you played Pluto. When was the last time you Do played you it? Do you not fucking realize I DJ a Latin night? I get that, but when was the last time you played it? Last Friday. Okay, cool. That's when you played it, then. Um, Doctor Strange. You don't too. believe me? I'll pull up my fucking Serato playlist right you. now. History. I, believe, I, I will you. fucking. I believe you. It's right there. Don't make me double click. Stop. Because I'm the king of the double click. Stop peeking over there. Um, Doctor Strange two gets a release date of May seventh, twenty twenty one. Yeah. I'm excited for that. That's gonna be pretty dope. Also, have you seen the movie Knives Out? Definitely haven't. It's pretty good. Just about. Check it out. It's it's uh. We're gonna come name? up off of them chips if it we're gonna Bond. fucking not have a fucking. We thing. have to say them. See them shits for the next episode. Oh, for real. Kirk Douglas <laughs> already <laughs> said that. Knives out. <laughs> you like derailed me for a split second. Knives out has is with uh what is his name? Bond fucking uh, Daniel Craig. Craig. <laughs> Craig. It, it had fucking it had a lot of famous ass people in this movie. It was good, and it already got greenlit for a part two. Which is supposed to be pretty dope. It's like about Daniel Craig. He's like a, a private investigator and shit. And he's trying to put together this uh, supposed murder. It's like, you know what it is? It's New Age Clue. It's okay. New Age Clue. That's what it is. And it was really good. I shit you not. That's what we went and saw when we were staying up there in uh, Scottsdale this last time. Me and my lady and shit. And it's a good movie. You should go check that shit out before it's out of theaters. Like It's in there. Knives, Knives Out. Knives Out. Knives Out. It's, okay. It's, uh, okay. 
I want to say it's that dude, Taika Waititi, that I keep bringing up and shit. Yeah. He won like some... Oh, he won for Jojo Rabbit. Yeah, with the Nazi shit. Yes, bro. Well, that's, still, that's still in the theater, too. I want to go watch that this week. I'm going to ask my dad if he wants to roll me. Like, maybe Friday. What time is it right now? Friday. Damn. It's Wanna early as fuck. It. it is early as fuck. We were supposed to record, too, but Burt canceled. <laughs> Do we even write Bert back? Did you write him something back? Same no, I haven't written back yet. He but probably thinks we're mad. No, no, no. Well, we'll just tell him we're recording we'll shit. We'll be able to make it tonight, fellas, if you guys got a spot on the next <coughs> week down for next week. Yo. It's all good, Bert. I'm just going to write something. So fucking this weekend was crazy. Fucking this weekend was crazy? Like, I dj this wedding from 3 to 9. And then I did cover from 11 to close. That's dope. Mom showed up. I saw that. That's awesome. We we're taking shots in the booth and shit. That's hilarious. She got called the next day. I'm like, how you feeling, mom? She's like, oh, my God. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm feeling it today. And I just started laughing. That's hilarious. That's she was cool. able to function, which That's was good. That's cool, though, man. Yeah. But she was shocked at some of the music that I was playing. What were you playing? Just like Gumbias at like our old school, you know? Okay. So you like kind of tailored it a little bit for her that night? Yeah. Shit? Oh, yeah. There you go. You she didn't, didn't want to didn't wanna throw the fucking, uh, tonight I'm fucking you. The no, fucking, you, uh, yeah, definitely you want to play none of that, that shit? Real ass bitch, give a fuck about her. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> well, <laughs> tonight I'm fucking you. Um, God, that song's awful, bro. I fucking love that song. Don't beep, you dare. Beep, 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 beep. Don't you dare. That fucking beep, beep, song beep, is beep, fucking. Beep, beep. Uh, dude, I don't have oh, that. That like, song is dope as fuck. Fist pumping 101. Hey, you know what? Sometimes you just got to fist pump. <laughs> no, bro. no, Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you just got to fist pump away. with good old Enrique Iglesias. <laughs> Tonight I'm coming fucking out you. The f- if that shit comes on in the club, I am not not dancing, okay? okay I'm going to tell you that right now. I don't give a fuck. I might not be fist pumping. I might be like thrusting. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be fucking dick thrusting. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like just because that's what that song is all about. You're right throwing there, dick. Man. You're throwing, swinging it, dude. Just letting it swing. Um, okay, moving into fashion and pop culture. You oh, wrote shit, oh, shit. Tinder users can soon trigger a I didn't panic. Write that line. Shit. Wow, wow, who the fuck wrote that? Was that me? Yeah, man. That, I thought that was you, dog. No, sir. Tinder users can soon trigger a panic alarm if they feel unsafe on a date. I don't see anything wrong with that. Hey, me either. I don't see anything wrong with that. That's kind of cool. I'll be real with you. I don't really fuck with Tinder like that, but when I did for like a month or two, yeah. I didn't really get a lot of love. I'm not an internet dating guy. Really? Yeah. You didn't get swiped on, bro? No, I'm not a lot. <laughs> they didn't swipe right on that Well, you ass? know what, though? Like, it wasn't even like... You should have a... just put your name under Freaky Cheeky instead. Right. Dude. You would have known right here. I'm here to clap cheeks. Yeah. Damn. I'm yeah. not that bold, bro. Come on, man. That's what you need to be. It's 20 fucking 20. I get that, but no. fuck about can't. The rules. It's not even about putting it fuck out there rules. that much. It's like, yo, you know? Fucking... That's funny. Let's put you back on there. Come no, on. I'm not trying to be a bad guy. Let's do it this way. We have something to talk about on the podcast. Never. <laughs> Come on. Let's have a new segment called fucking. I don't ever fucking talk cheekies, about my, uh, my endeavors on tenders. the podcast. Chicken tenders. Um. Okay. Atari to build a video game theme park hotel in Phoenix. Did you write that? No. Bro, these are old shit then, huh? Yeah. I'm, I'm like, I wrote all this down and I don't even remember it. Oh, I did remember writing this, that Erica Badu is releasing a perfume that smells like her vagina. So now people are hopping on the vagina candle um, mm-hmm. train. Uh, train, Yeah, dude. So what 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 else do you think they should make now? Should they make like vagina like uh, popsicles? Not popsicles. Yeah, popsicles or uh, lollipops. Vagina is a very specific thing like we talked, we talked about. about. Yes, like, yes. I don't know, man. There's no other flavor. But Erica Badu is doing this perfume which i think is you know she's jacking strange from uh what was that distinguished gentleman when she's like all oh, fucking essence of vagina or some shit like that grace jones remember eddie murphy and them fucking uh yeah distinguished gentleman or was, or was it boomerang no it was distinguished gentleman i think with strong jay where she was it was grace jones and she was like uh she, she had a perfume that was you don't know smart. say and then it had that old lady and shit and she was all whispering in there she's like i'm not wearing any panties like that shit was fucking funny. jeez louise <laughs> dude you don't stop. what are you watching bro this is a good ass 80s movie homie is that porn no dude it's eddie murphy eddie murphy, murphy. okay so 
Uh, are you feeling the Travis Scott uh, bandana SB dunks? I saw one you know, the other day, I, um, and it looked like the the bandana had already been starting to rip off, and yeah. it just looked fucking whack. So yeah, you can miss me with them shits. I I just saw them, and I didn't like the way the patterns were put together. The paisley with the plaid, I thought it clashed. You right. know, it's I like think, literally somebody just cut it and it's a it hype on. shoe. It's a hype shoe. The yeah, period. So like that's the wild. only reason. If you're a reseller. You can get it at retail. You can flip it and make a couple hundred dollars. Cool. Flipping them shits. But for me, it's a hard pass. Right. The ones that I do want to get are those fucking off-white Jordan 5s. And to be I honest with black, you, I, seen the black I don't know if I could too. fucking sell them. I think I would rock them. Yeah, why not? If you got them at retail, bro. I'm tr- I'm still trying but, to get those fucking blue and red uh, fours. Because they sold out at finish line in my size, but Foot Locker got them now for like okay. 160 I think I'm gonna grab some, grab some of those more better, bars. man. Before it's too late. <clears throat> but yeah, fuck them, them bandana dunks. Um, I'm in April. I'm gonna fucking cop those black Yeezy. The sit, I think they're called Citron, not Citrons. Um, well, they're black with the gum bottom. Oh yeah, they're fucking those. mean. I see. They them. are so fucking mean. Like, I I even pay uh, resale value like three hundred or whatever. Yeah, I even pay for that. You had touched on it a little bit, um, homegirl. That fucking fell. From the stripper pool. Yeah, and she was like 20 feet in the air or something like that. And she fell and hit her face and broke her teeth and shit. Bro, she already, they already raised $25,000. Oh, we're going to get straight for everything. For like her to get like some shit for her ankle, her tooth fixed, some other shit. Yeah, done. She got set up. Like in a matter of days, homie. Like it's crazy how you got people trying to fundraise for other shit, but this, uh, uh, you know, I mean, she's fucked up. She got That's it. what's up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You're looking, you're helping somebody. She was trying to entertain people. people and you're shit. You're trying to help people out. Somebody just happened to be recording you fuck up. And when oh. you fuck up that bad, yeah, people are going to, people feel bad. They're going to help. They're going to throw you a couple bucks. Slam the face. <laughs> yeah, that shit. I wonder, I wonder if the glass broke. I wonder if she got CTE. Maybe, you don't know. But she raised 25 G's, dog. <laughs> Uh, let me see fashion and pop culture what else do we got here dog have you seen that fucking 18 inch Funko uh, Batman no I did not that's fucking sick what Batman like is it like a new Batman it's a Batman original where he's just Funko Pop he's just standing there like that but it's an 18 inch one yeah but what what a series of Batman are we talking are we talking you know uh, Christian Bale no 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 Um, I was saying Batman original Keaton I was in Michael Keaton Michael Keaton okay Probably one of my favorite ones right there. I like. I, I like think the old that's the style. Batman. Yeah, and it's just a Funko Pop that's eighteen inches. It's a hundred bucks. Yeah. Well, I heard the fucking little. I heard they have the new the the baby Yoda now, like for like three hundred. Yeah. No, no, like no, no, thirty four, thirty four ninety nine. No, 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 no. They have like a real version. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three hundred dollars for this baby Yoda. <laughs> Who did somebody? Someone wrote something about. It said like. People were talking shit about it being three hundred dollars, and then someone said that there was a thing there. It said, "I just want to know how how wide its mouth opens." <laughs> <laughs> Some shit like that. I was like, "That's fucking hilarious." Um, let me see, let me see. You know what we did skip in music, bro? Is that coronavirus song? Coronavirus. Yeah, dude, that is fucking the crazy. The Dembo song. That is crazy. That he, you know, but people jump on shit. You know what I'm saying? And when you're the first to jump on shit, sometimes you go viral, bro. And that's what homie did. He did a crazy. What? What is that? What is that? Does that? What is that? The the brand, like the, the type of music. That oh, that Dembo is. It's like Dominican Republic. Okay, that's what that dude is. Okay. Bro, I found I have some fire as Dembo, bro. You play that at the club and shit. Oh yeah, I want to drop okay. that shit at fucking playground on fucking See, Friday. Notices coronavirus. Song? Well, not that song, but other Dembo. Okay. Like, there's a dude named El Alpha. Yeah, El Jefe. He's oh, the shit. shit, bro. He's fucking like the dude in fucking Dembo. Okay. He does track with like um, Diplo and like. Um, Bad Bunny, like he he's he's like he's that dude. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'll show you some music after the show. All right, sounds good. Because it's not on the fucking um, my jams of the week or anything this week, so I can't really talk about it too much. Okay. The last thing I had in the pop culture shit was I saw that they were trying to make Super Bowl Monday a national holiday. I, I that'd be fucking awesome. You know what's crazy yeah. is that I got to work. I dropped the kid off and I got to work at a reasonable time and I got a lot of amount of work done. On Super Bowl Monday? Yeah, I was flying back on Super Bowl Monday. It was kind of shitty, but it was okay. Like I said, it was a good time. Um, That would be dope if it was a 
uh, on national holiday. Okay, moving into uh, food and something new mm-hmm. this week. Yummy. Today, DJ Century came. I went all out legit. today. He came legit today. Since we hadn't done this in a minute, you went to a little spot here in town called The Habit. Yeah, I think it's a national chain. Um, I've never been there. But yeah, they it's fucking, like a burger spot mainly, right? Kind yeah, but they have higher end food there. Like just prepared a little differently, you know? Okay. I just got a fucking barbecue salad. Um, Chicken, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Had was nice it? little uh, accents with that green onion. Oh yeah. It had that little the blue red, cheese crumble. Had the crumble red in onions there. in there and shit, and it had yeah the blue cheese. And I don't really fuck with the bacon. blue cheese. And I fucking it, I enjoyed it in that salad, you know. And it was already like barbecue on the chicken, but then they give you ranch to go on top of that. So it's well, like that a shit ranch was mean. barbecue. Oof. That shit was good. I mean, real talk. I probably need to eat right two here. of them to yeah. be full. It's like you want to just tell them like put more put more protein, man. Yeah, if you throw more put chicken on there, you'd be straight. Give me all the protein and put the proteins in there and shit. Um Yeah, what do you charge for a double meat? <laughs> you know? Right? And when I go to the fucking sock room, that's what I get. I tell them double meat and uh no uh like no rice, double fucking vegetables. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with the rice heavy though for me. Like, I mean, I get the rice most of the time, but like yeah, I love I'm trying, me some rice. I actually bro. went to I went to <laughs> went to Panda the other day. And I, I went to Korea I, House yesterday. I skipped, I skipped the the rice and the fucking noodles, but I got three items. Of yeah. Them. <laughs> I went to. Korea. I got that. I got that double fucking orange on the fucking inside, and yeah. I got the the black pepper chicken on the side. That's good. Have you ever had the black pepper chicken from from Panda? No, it's pretty good. Man. Yeah, it's decent. It's decent. It's pretty good. Um, but yeah, man, that that's all was really good, dog. It was definitely a five forker for me. Yeah, five man, forker, five, five fork in this. Bitch. Yeah, I give it a five fork. We have to get like some little thing that's five forks or some shit like that, something like that, huh? Dad would just ask Adi to do it. You know what I'm saying? We're just gonna get. We're gonna have to like replace all the the famous uh sound effects we use someday with you know just local shit we'll, we'll just get She's like damn that shit's bomb right we'll, <laughs> we'll, get drop. Adi, we'll get Adi to do it instead of uh instead of a miss what is it not, not noob noob the like, god damn we'll just get her this fucking saying and shit but that was good shit man um moving into sports dog sports since the last time we were here, the U of A lost by what one point to ASU yeah, up there? Yeah, and they were up twenty two, motherfucker. Did, they fucking threw that game. Fuck away. a bear down. Okay. Whatever, bro. You know, it happens. it happens. It happens. Good for them. They won by one fucking point. We're on like a They got murked by 30 the last time they were here. So yeah, don't, well, you know, the don't, times have changed. Don't toot your fucking fuck, horn. What kind of toot? Because don't we won in Tempe. Don't suck your own dick. Swinging that tail. is we we helicopter. You know, okay. if, you, if, if you know, you know the helicopter. Here are the. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you don't, then I'm sorry for you. Since we fucking okay, Eli you Manning lost to fucking UCLA. They did. They lost. They got and their ass beat that one too. Like we beat them by eighteen. Shout out to Belina. She loves fucking UCLA. So she was there at that game and shit. Uh, so yeah. So while we were gone, Super Bowl went down. Yeah. Um, I was kind of sad that fucking uh, San Francisco lost, but you know, yeah, yeah. Um, I knew it was Mahomes I wanted it, bro. Yeah. But you know, fucking, I, I I was happy that it was a good game. It was a really good game. You know, so it got really good in the second quarter and shit. And um. But yeah, it would have been cool to see fucking, you know, Beachy Garoppolo to get one and uh, Frisco would have had six. But, you know, some other time. And uh, Eli Manning retires, huh? I yeah, mean, man. It was about that? time. No, it wasn't me. Smoke, smoke, smoke weed every day. <laughs> Why? Why am I? Are you sure, bro? Yeah, bro. I didn't are write you shit. Sure? I, I didn't, didn't write a damn thing. Well, see, that's a problem. That's a problem. You need to write shit. No, but no, I get it, but I'm just saying. But, I mean, I put bad boys for life suck. That's about it. Okay. Because it so, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It so did. So Eli Manning did retire. Okay, so in the tech and news shit, bro, I saw that the Australian firefighters are getting their own uh, Pop Funko. Yeah, you got to pre-order help, that shit. To help with the impact, you know, the, the animals impacted by the fire, fire brushes and shit. Watch, I got the picture right here. It's actually pretty dope. I'm going to fucking get one of these. Because that's cool as fuck that, you know, a lot of firefighters from the United States went down there. And shit. Little koalas on the leg and shit. Yep. Yeah, that's good right there. Yeah. That's cool. So, you know, shout out to them. I'm um, pretty sure pretty sure it's going to be available on Amazon. Limited edition Australian Firefighter Pop. Yeah. So, yeah, man, that was cool. That's the only thing I got for uh, tech and new shit this week. Did you write 
No Love for Greta Thunberg? Yeah, isn't I don't know. Old? I don't know. Isn't how that the, old? No, I don't know. We how the about fuck? this already. No, no, that's a new one. I don't know how the fuck she got elected for the Nobel Peace Prize. Like, yo, are, what kind of times are we living in? She did nothing for the impact. She's nothing. She's shaking shit up, bro. No, she ain't doing shit. Everything's the same as it was. I just don't understand. Everybody's it. just all like, you know, I in awe about it that it's a little girl. It, and, you know, obviously, just, obviously, the parents are telling her what the fuck they need to say. You know, and good for her for whatever she's doing. I, but I just don't Nobel get it. Peace Prize. That's kind of that's kind of a stretch. I okay, guess. okay. So we're at agreements. Agreements there. I never said I wasn't. It's just like I just I, is, I thought that we talked about this. That's already. so wild, bro. I thought that this is old as that fuck. That is so wild. Like that they fucking someone's like, oh, what climb. Uh, uh, global warming's real. Like you, you deserve the Nobel Peace Prize. You told us something we didn't know. Like what the fuck? Greta Thunberg. Dude. What kind of fucking world are we living in, man? Thunberg. They've been talking about it. We been talking. Everybody's been talking about it for so long. I don't know. I thought we were already past that, but no fuck, love. whatever. Yeah. Okay. No love or, or show love and no love. Uh, let me see. For no love for me. No love. No love. Huh. You know what? No luck to my neighbor's dogs. Fuck you. <laughs> you already know how I feel about it. We got some new neighbors. They got two dogs, and these motherfuckers are damn near ready to jump the wall and come murder Obi and shit. And now every time we go back there, it's just dogs barking, dogs barking, dogs barking, dogs barking. Like they've disturbed the peace of that corner. You know what I'm saying? And you it can't sucks. smoke anymore? No, no, no. I smoke like a motherfucker. I don't to talk about that. It's just, I hate the dogs barking. You know what I mean? Like Obi's over there in the corner. This one dog can get up tall enough so he can kind of see what's going on. But we have all this wood shit kind of right there. So he couldn't jump right there. But then these motherfuckers jump like, like to see over the fence and shit. And one of them can put his hands where he's almost like, like, what's up? And then he falls back down and shit. So, like, eventually that motherfucker's going to make it over. You know what I'm saying? If I got to knock a motherfucking dog out. Yeah, if I got to fucking, yeah, if I got to kick you to fucking protect my dog, homie, I'm going to punt that dog back <laughs> over the fucking wall. Real shit. So, no love to the neighbor's dogs. I haven't really met them. They're, they're pretty new. Eventually, I'm going to have to fucking go say what's up or catch them out front and shit. Just be like, yo. Catch me outside. How about hey, that? Hey, dog, like, we need to go half and half on a double fucking brick upgrade. You know what I'm saying? Like, taller can make that shit taller so your dogs don't fuck with my dog and we don't have to see each other and none of that shit mm -hmm. so yeah what about show love show love for the week i'll kick it off dude i gotta show love to all the homies from the inner circle podcast network that the shit was fun circle. as fuck uh we, you know like i said just got back from new jersey hanging out with all the homies Stayed, you know, two nights at Adam's, one night at Bobby's house. That was the night we got fucking stupid high. And uh, I'm working on a video. I don't even know how the fuck we're going to be able to post it. We can't put it on YouTube. We're going to have to just uh, post it somewhere and then put the link on the Inner Circle website so that people can see it. But I'm, like, afraid to watch it, dude, because I just know that, like, I was fucking lit. I know Joe B was lit. Bobby Moore and Bobby Light were just going fucking back and forth just rolling blunts and shit bro like i had not been that lit for a minute but it was it was exactly what we set out to do and we just we you know we put the i put the camera on the tripod spun it around but then there was times where like you were so lit and somebody forgot to move the shit so it was just probably watching somebody look at somebody else like for like 10 minutes you know what i'm saying before it even you know and yeah dude so i'm gonna figure out what the fuck to do with that shit that's just gonna be funny um, they called it like the the smokers. No, we called it the smoker circle. They called it um, Stone Age, something like that. But yeah, that's that episode. Huh. Um, smoker circle shit will be coming soon to the the Hood Diner Patreon. Yeah. And um, but yeah, man, shout out to them. Show love to the motherfucking homies. That was cool as fuck. To be out there, shout out to Ming. That that was cool recording podcast with that that dude had a ill ass setup. It was literally that's what it is. It's a podcast spot where people come and rent, you know, hours to come podcast. And Ming will record it. He'll even live stream it so that you have the video of it. And uh, shit, it was fucking fun, bro. It was fun as fuck, dude. You know what I'm saying? The plunge was there. Jason Almy showed up like unexpectedly and shit on Saturday. It was cool. Um, 
Yeah, man, it was fun. We how did much a music, does it cost to record we, there? We did a music video. You know, I really don't know. I really don't know. I got to ask him. I got to see what that shit costs. But but we did a music video, man. That was some fun shit. Joe B and me, we, we did a song called My Circle Stays Small. And uh, we recorded it in front of Adam's house. With everybody on the fucking steps and shit, dude. It was funny. I don't even know how it's going to turn out. I mean, I know it's going to turn out dope, but, you know, it's going to be funny as shit, probably. But it was just it was just a piece of just all the fucking content that I was doing, man. I was doing, like, a vlog from the second I left to, you know, to the time I got back and shit. So I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to have, like, at least a either, you know, it's going to be a vlog, but multiple days. Because there was so much shit. So much shit. Had a good time. So, yeah, next one. You're going to need to go or you're fucking fired. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm definitely on board for the next one. Yeah. We we do, we gotta do some. I I've been I'm pushing Vegas, but if the what you what do you call it? Super Bowl is in Tampa, I believe. And, you know, that might just have to happen. But we won't get a fucking hotel. You know what I'm saying? I want to go to yeah, Vegas for the opening of the Vegas, uh, Raiders Stadium. The Raiders. When is that? Next year? Yeah. This year? Or later this year? Let's do it. I'm with it. Legal weed, too? Pff, right? Well, they probably don't let you smoke in the arena, though. Not in the arena, that be, but... Wouldn't that be dope, though, if they had a smoker section? Yeah, you're right. Everybody's all lit. I mean, you know what? It'd probably be a good thing to keep Raiders fans calm. You know Until what I'm the Smoke fucking out. drama starts. But then everybody be too high to fight. No. Yeah. Yeah. I used to know crazy yeah. motherfuckers that would fucking turn into the Hulk when they smoked weed. Well, it just depends on the weed. Like, they let them only offer sativas and shit. <laughs> now you're being super duper fucking picky. Hey, you know what? If it controls the fucking fans, bro, then shit. I'm all for it. Let's uh Let's do our jams of the week. My jam of the week came from... Uh, Riding with um, Bobby Light, which was cool as fuck. I was listening to uh, some shit that he was playing, and uh, he introduced me to uh, Beast Coast. And uh, there's a song there called "The Coast Is Clear," and it has oh, fucking. I don't even. It doesn't even let me let me see the entire amount of people that are on it. But it's Flatbush, Zombies, Joey Badass, Kirk Knight, Nick Caution, Issa Gold. I believe that's everybody, but. It's, yeah, it's the song's called uh, Coast Clear, and it's by Beast Coast. It was a dope-ass track. He, Bobby Light has a dope-ass Cadillac and shit. Dude, I was mobbing around with him and shit. That was fun. He fucking, he's a, he was a cool motherfucker, man. Shout out to Bobby Light. That's, you know, included in the show love, man, because those fools were cool as fuck. He made edibles. The day I got there, there was already, like, a, a blueberry muffin in the fridge, and, like, him and Adam were like, yeah, man, if you want that, go ahead. It's like, Boom. Took that shit. Fire. Shit was hitting me while we were going to the fucking uh, the grocery store and shit like that. I was wandering around the grocery store having a great ass time. It was fucking fun. Yeah, it was good. Um, my old school jam of the week. Picked that one up. Well, I mean, I, I love this song. I don't think I've ever done it. I might have. Now that I think about it, I probably did, but it's been so long, so it's okay. It's that good. It's uh, Devin the Dude, and it's a song called Reefer and Beer, but I know I've brought this up. Is The version that I have is the version... That I believe they replaced with a different version because they probably didn't have the clearance for the sample. That's dope. It's got a little uh, like country music fucking sample. That, that little, little fucking guitar riff in the background and shit like that. And they replaced it with a different version of it, but it's not the same. And the version I have is dope. It's actually on a fucking old ass CD that I have in my car like right now. It's crazy. And uh, yeah, that song is called Reefer and Beer. Devin the Dude. Those are my gems of the week. More reggaeton. DJ and fucking uh, the Latin night. I always just stay up on my game, you know? You just in there fucking, just just fucking Shazam and shit? No, no, not necessarily that, but like I watch a lot of YouTube. Do DJs get mad if they see other DJs do that? What do you mean? Like, like let's, say, you, the let's song? say let's say you're DJ and you see DJs in the fucking crowd and you just see him with his with his <laughs> All fucking Statue of Liberty holding his photo, shazamming this song. Does that does that piss you off? No, not even. <laughs> I'm it, putting you on music. Game, right? I'm putting it's you on music. Game. You can probably play the same songs as I do, but you don't put the same flavor. It's fair. Everybody game. has their own style of DJing. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'd be pissed though. 
<laughs> Especially mean, if you knew it was like a deep dive or like something new that had nobody really is up on yet, and the motherfuckers are fucking shazamming that shit. I get that. That's fucking hilarious. That's that's how DJ Beefs get started right there. <laughs> well, the song <laughs> of the week is um. Uh, Rao Alejandro. Rao. Yeah. R A U W. Rao. Uh, Fantasias. Um, it's a song they sampled um, a, a dance hall record called Gyp- by an uh, artist called Egyptian. Okay. Hold you is a song, mm-hmm. and the uh, they use the melody in this reggaeton song, and then that's my throwback is Egyptian. Hold you. That's okay. where the sample, the original samples from. I like that. So that's like a little... I like that. That's actually like a cool way to do your fucking jam of the week is to have something that's new and then your old school be the sample that it came from. I like yeah. that. I like that. Makes I mean, they're both jams. Yeah, and I then uh, Major Lazer did a remix of that fucking uh, Egyptian song that goes pretty hard. Like, I might probably drop that on fucking um, Friday. Playground? Yeah, I might Playground on Friday. Nice. But Hopefully this will be up by Friday morning. So people can be like, oh shit, DJ Century, there tonight. I'm going to be there. Be there. Be there. And so, okay, let's see. I think that's it, dog. That's total, huh? That's pretty much it, dude. I mean, we got another podcast to do, so. Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll take a break. But, um, yeah, man. Uh, it's good to be back. Uh, it was really, really fucking cool being around motherfuckers that love to podcast, professional motherfuckers, like seeing them work, just being around like-minded individuals and shit. That shit was really cool. And that's what I think is the fucking strength of the Inner Circle Podcast Network, man. Like that was really fuck. It was just fun. I came back like I'm on some new shit. Like I'm just like ready to keep, you know, I came back with to a lot of work, which was really good. But I got a lot of content that I need to get ready to put out. Like I said, we did a music video. I got those vlogs. Uh, I recorded the entire Sam PC episode 200 and uh, a couple other things too that I have to like fucking uh, do and shit. It's just going to be all good content for the circle and shit. Nice. So, um, yeah, man. Uh, shout, shout out to them. Shout out to my cousin Ramon. He had his baby. Yeah. Um, shout out to my friend Andrew. He had his baby. Yeah. Nice. You know. Oh yeah, man! It's crazy seeing a bunch of people start families right now because, like, my kid's seven and out this year, and I'm not having any more kids. You don't know that. No, I'm gonna go get a vasectomy as soon as yeah? I can. Yeah. Oh yeah. When you get that, does like the sperm still come out? I think so. I think you're just <laughs> not able to fucking um, like you have no more swimmers. You know, they sever the wire. Swimmers, but does that mean there's no goo? <laughs> hey, dog! Uh, I still I'm got not my, a doctor. Like, I still got I my really... plumbing working, so I don't know. Because you know. That's part of the fun, you know what I'm saying? Letting the shit just, you know, the skeet, bro. The skeet. I don't know the science of it, but I the know skeet. that they basically, like, I know f- so many motherfuckers are like, holy shit, cat don't, cats don't know what a vasectomy is. Just, just, there's a red wire, there's a blue know, wire, and a yellow wire. They take the yellow wire off, and then you can't have any more kids. And so they take the third udder from the back <laughs> yeah. and tie it in a knot. <laughs> He's all, snip, snap, snip, snap. Oh, Fuck dude, it. it just hurts even thinking about it. Vasectomies, bro. Like, ugh. The homie got one, and he said he's still working fine. No problem. Yeah? But the swimmers are just, nah. No, non-existent. Non. They're non. They just stay in the what, sack. See, that's what I want to <laughs> know. know. Like, like, does air just come out? Like, when you bust it, it just... That, yes. I want to fucking know, man. You guys let us know. <laughs> Hit us up on fucking Twitter. Hit us up on Instagram. Whatever the fuck you follow us at, man. We are the Hood Diner on uh, the Hood Diner on uh, Twitter. Hood Diner podcast everywhere else. Go to thehooddiner.com. You know what we didn't do is we didn't do the motherfucking uh, sponsor, so we can do that right now. Dude wipes. Dude wipes are a flushable uh, wipe for at home and on the go situations. I took my dude wipes with me over there and I use the motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Dude wipes, go to dudeproducts.com, use code hood, get 15% off all your orders. Hashtag no mud butt. Shout out to dude wipes, man. Um, 
used a dude shower at Bobby Moore's house. And when he saw the rapper and shit in there, he said he laughed his fucking ass off. He actually brought it up while they were on stage doing their their uh, their super duper bowl shit like that. He's, I think I'm pretty sure he said that he was laughing about that. On there. But yeah, he, he was cracking up. Did the fucking dude shower because I stayed the night over there, dog. Yeah. And I woke up in the morning and I had the dude shower. I was like, okay. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to, like, you know, I, we were going to leave there to go to Adam's house, and then I took a shower when I got there. But in the morning, I, you know, a night of smoking out and shit and just laying on the couch all it. So, yeah, I fucking night of blue, Night of blue waffling. <laughs> yeah, dude showered it up. So, yeah, shout out to Dude Products. Visual Clothing. Visual Clothing is a streetwear brand rooted in hip hop and pop culture, producing quality shirts, hats, and accessories. Go to official.com. That's O H F I S H L.com. Use code HOOD. Get 25% off your entire order. Get free shipping over $50. Official Clothing. Live by your own rules, baby. Yeah. And of course, Empire Rolling, the makers of Benny's. We just got done smoking one a little bit ago. Um, you know what Benny's are? They're them fucking uh, papers that look like $100 bills and shit. $100 uh, they're, they're, bill. They're starting to fucking blow up like a motherfucker lately from what I've been hearing and shit. We jumped on this shit way early. And uh, shout out to them for being a sponsor. Go to EmpireRolling.com. Use code Hood and get 10% off your entire order. It's Empire Rolling, the official rolling paper of the Hood Diner podcast. Code Hood on all that shit, baby. HoodDiner.com. I am Casual520 across the board. That's K-A-Z-U-A-L-520. I'm DJ underscore Century everywhere. Airware. And this has been episode 78, right? Yeah. I said 68 earlier. Huh? I was all lost. 78, baby. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. Leave us a fucking rate, review, all that good shit. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace. of men. Now, the truth can finally be told. The Inner Circle.